You want to know how to make a game in 2022, huh? Become really popular and get lots of Robux, huh? Well, today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a game in 2022. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Spleef-like game. If you don't know what Spleef is, it's pretty much you have all the players in a map. And whenever a player touches a part, touches like a tile or something, then that tile disappears. And then the players can fall through that. And there's usually like multiple levels and whoever's the last one standing wins the round. This is going to be a multiple part series. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you can follow along with this tutorial. So let's get started. We're going to first start off by making a map. So I'll kind of show you how to make a map. So we're going to insert a part and then we're just going to scale this buddy about yay big. Make it bigger maybe. A little more skinny. And we're going to change the color of this guy to like, I don't know, some black color. Really black color. And we're going to turn on anchored and boom, that's our little fella. And we're just going to call our little fella disappearing block. I spelled that wrong. Maybe. Better safe than sorry, I guess. Now we're gonna insert a script into our little fella. We can just call this like bye bye. Something like that because it'll make the block go bye bye. Alright, and now in this bye bye script, we can do local block is equal to script.parent. And then we can do db, which stands for debounce, and that's gonna equal false. And then we're going to make a function, and then we're gonna do on touch, and then parentheses and then we're gonna do if debounce equals equals false then debounce equals true and then we're gonna do for i equals one comma twenty and we're gonna do a do go down and we're gonna do block dot transparency equals i and then we can do like forward slash and twenty and then we can do a wait for 0 0.05 seconds and then we can go right here and hit enter and we can do block dot can collide and that's going to equal false and we're going to do block colon destroy and db equals false and then down here we're going to do block dot touched and we're going to do colon connect a function and call our function which is on touch that should finish it up and i don't know why i put a function there it's just supposed to be uh on touch like that there we go okay now we can go ahead and we can hit play here so we spawn right by our buddy and boom we jump onto him as you can see it disappears and if we go into workspace and try to find our little buddy he's not there he disappeared because we destroyed him so I'm gonna go through the script real quick. Pretty much we're just defining our part right here, disappearing block, so block equals a disappearing block. Uh, debounce, I already explained that. And then we made a function. And then uh, we slowly changed the transparency with a for loop. And then we made it so players can't collide with it. And then uh, we destroyed it. And then so he's wiped out of the game. Bye bye, like the name of our script. So now what we can do, is we can go ahead and make some walls. So we can just go ahead and scale. Zoop, zoop. Make him a little smaller just because I don't want to spend 50 hours on this. Make him like, I don't know, white color. And then we can make sure he's anchored so we can't knock him over. And we can move this. Zoop. And then uh, select both of these by hitting this one and then control and hitting that one. Ooh move them on accident and then we can duplicate them by control d and then rotate them by control r and uh, i gotta do some surgery real quick really i'm a really good builder as you can tell call me builder bob the builder okay anyway so here's our buddy and now we can make like some levels so like can I, like move him right here or something i don't know making a quick map and then the really really boring part so duplicate boom duplicate oh boom and we're gonna just keep doing this until the whole entire wall is covered okay and if you've already scripted before you're gonna be like you are retarded because you have scripts in every single part and well you're right about the retarded part but uh just because most of you guys will probably be beginners. We're going to fix that later on in a different episode. So, yeah, you know. Make sure you 
subscribe and turn on notifications. You know what I'm saying? Because you never want to miss out on any of my videos. Also, thanks for a thousand subscribers. That means a lot to me. It's pretty sweet. Pretty awesome. You guys are awesome. Okay, anyway, we have all this done. So, uh, we can actually just select all of our disappearing blocks right here. And duplicate them. And move them over like this and paste and we can just keep doing this as you can see this is a pretty painful process that's basically what building is though painful hey but some people like to do it i'm not gonna argue with them because everyone has their own thing what did i just do there we go no i don't like building by like scripting so and i'm not making this perfect because i'm not planning on publishing this game but you're gonna want to probably spend a lot of time on this maybe even hire someone to do it uh this is gonna look pretty ugly, but it's okay. We can just extend this wall. Uh, yeah, you can either, even join my Discord server and try to hire someone. That would work too. Okay, anyway, let's just spawn, try to spawn right on this wall here. Discord link is in the description, by the way. Okay, now we jump down. As you can see, it disappears, and then everyone we touch does that too. And if we fall down, then uh, we're gonna put a kill break at the end. Anyway, now you guessed it, we have to do all this come all the way up here copy all these stained parts and duplicate them and oh that's leggy okay and we're gonna move them right like here okay so there's gonna be two levels you're gonna probably want to add more uh yep so now we have one million parts here in our workspace so let's just go ahead and group them actually and roblox studio mic oh it didn't crash wow uh, and we're gonna just name this lots of parts and then we're gonna go ahead and cop get all these walls here and we're gonna oop, not duplicate them we're gonna go ahead and group them and we're gonna call these walls and then also we can just call these oop, oop. oh what did i do oops we can just call this wall like that there we go so now we can go ahead and group both of these together and we can call this map one or something like that so now you just created your first map but hold on we are forgetting something we have to add in a kill brick at the bottom here so that players die so let's just go ahead and do that i guess insert a part where to go there he is just put him right here and we can go ahead and scale him and then this kill bricks can be pretty buggy oh let's just make this like orange color real quick yellow color maybe and we'll make it neon so it's like ah! my eyes looks like lava uh and it, oh it looks really cool when you are at the last level anyway oh it's pretty dark in here that's pretty spooky you can add lights if you want but i'm not going to do that we're gonna make sure that this is anchored and we're gonna turn ken collide off because otherwise it gets pretty buggy and you can just hop around on the kill brick and you won't die so we don't want that we want players to die okay we're just gonna name this die all right now in this part we can insert a script and we can call this kill script and then we can go ahead and we can do local brick and this is gonna be our script dot oop we learned this it's gonna be script dot parent same thing and then we can go down and then we can do local function oh player touched and we can do part and we can do local parent equals part dot parent and then we can do if game dot players colon get player from character and we can do parent like your mom or your dad and we're just making sure that the players have a mom and dad you know just because if they don't and we probably need to like be really nice to them make sure we don't hurt their feelings and we're gonna do parent dot humanoid i hope your parents are humanoid be pretty weird if they're robots uh and we can do health equals zero so that's pretty much telling you that your parents are dead okay and then we can go down and we can do brick dot touched colon connect and we can do player touched and that's our function and can get rid of those things that they automatically put so now we can go ahead and test our game we can go ahead and put play here and oh no we're gonna die oh shoot we fell and boom as you can see it looks super cool when 
or about to die because then you can see the lava and you're like oh no i'm gonna die and we go down okay that's an issue we need the lava to kill us let's go ahead and go into our output um did i spell something wrong guys just need to learn this that every single time you code there has to be an error absolute it's just necessity there has to be an error uh line seven parent dot humanoid dot health i don't know how to spell guys sorry you probably saw this yeah we're not trying to spell heath like the candy we're trying to spell health you know although candy's pretty good let's go ahead and play oh dang i didn't do play here okay bear with me here we go tent number two just we're just gonna fall down this time and uh oh we died so there you go oh going through the map and then boom so that's how you act that's how you make the map for our game so it's pretty cool and obviously you can do whatever you want anyway that's gonna wrap it up for episode number one of how to make a spleef game in roblox studio if you did like this video then make sure you give it a like and as i said already like a million times make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out when i post number two which will probably be pretty soon actually and join my discord server um link for that is in the description uh you can do a lot of stuff like a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot of stuff like uh, you can post your game so i can play them and rate them and you can get visits and you can chat with people and you can hire people blah 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 sorry i'm talking so much you just want this video to be over anyway see you later thanks for watching bye